Xavier, you're late. I arrived at school in the morning to find someone sitting on the desk I always use. It was my best friend, Ellie. I've told you a hundred times don't sit on my desk, especially with your legs open like that. You're technically a girl, right? Technically? What do you mean by technically? I'm just your average girl, ask anyone. Average girls don't sit with their legs open on boys' desks. Shut up. Stop making such a big deal about it. We're best friends, aren't we? What does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. You boys care too much about trivial stuff. And you care too little about it. Oh, lighten up, Xavier. Mm. Ellie is always like this. Even though she's a girl, she acts just like one of the guys. She used to be cute. But now I can't think of her as anything but just another one of the guys. Looks like you're having a hard time, Xavier. Oh, Clara. This is Clara. She was regarded by everyone in our grade as the hottest girl in school. Clara is out of my league. She looks beautiful as always. She's won the hearts of numerous guys. She is the girl that all the boys in school want to go out with. She has personality, but is also somewhat cute. That combination is enough to make me proud to be her boyfriend. Looks like she was really laying into you back there. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm used to it. Wow, you really are pretty strong, huh? Strong men like you are really reliable. That's so attractive. Really? Thanks. You're really nice, too. Calm and collected like an adult. It's great. T thanks. What is this? This feels an abnormal level of praise. It Do you want to hang out today after school? Uh-huh. Why? I just want to hang out. Is that so bad? N no it's fine. Let's hang out. Hold up, I'm going too. Let me hang out with you guys. Why do you want to come? I gotta keep watch and make sure you don't do anything weird. Huh? Sorry, Ellie, but I want to hang out with just me and Xavier. Or would you rather hang out with her, Xavier? Huh? Wait, what kind of question is that? A normal question? Uh, so what's it gonna be? I, uh, I want to hang out with Clara, just the two of us. Yeah, I thank you. Uh, huh. Clara, what's gotten into you? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I was just so happy. I couldn't help myself. Clara started snuggling up next to me. She's like an angel, much cuter than a certain best friend. Thank you. Anyway, I'll see you after school. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> All according to plan. <laughs> Serves you right, Ellie. I think Ellie may be feeling left out now. I felt bad seeing Ellie look so sad, but she was being too friendly up until that point. After all, we're both in high school. We can't be together all the time like we used to be. Xavier. Hmm? What's up? Do you have a little time after school? Uh, but... I know, I know. It would just be for a sec, okay? Um, okay. One hour later. Thanks for coming. Why did you want to meet me here? Do you really have to make me say it? Oh, I, um... I have something I want to talk to you about. What is it? I, uh... I like you. Hmm. Ever since we were in kindergarten. So, will you go out with me? W well, what gotten into you all of a sudden? You're going on a date with Clara, right? I wanted to tell you how I feel before you fall for her. Ellie seemed to have known for a long time that I only thought of her as my best friend, which is why she was acting the way she was. I was not expecting that kind of confession, so I didn't know what to do. So? What's your answer? I, uh... Just as I thought, I would have never pinned you as that type. You'll lose friends stealing other people's guys. Hey, don't you think you're being a little too harsh? Sorry but I want you to understand that I can't help but feel this way. Huh? I like you too, Xavier. I thought Ellie was going to steal you from me, so I got worried. <laughs> what? Sorry for being so forward, but you're going to pick me, right? Pick? Of course. You have two girls who like you, right? You have to pick one of us. S certainly, you're not thinking of cheating on one of us, right? 
N no, of course not. Ha ha ha, good. <laughs> you don't have a problem with this, right, Ellie? I, uh... What's wrong? Lacking confidence? Oh, you're worried about trying to steal him from me? Don't worry. I won't think less of you for doing something so sneaky like that. What are you going to do? I've come this far. I'm not back down now. I know. I'm not worried. We are childhood friends after all. Right. That is a strong bond after all. So, Xavier, who's it going to be? Uh. What's wrong? Am I not good enough for you? Clara. You're getting really close to me. I'm sorry, Ellie. I want Clara to be my friends. What? I'm so happy. I must be dreaming. Why her? Sorry. But if I'm being honest, I can't help but think of you as just another one of the guys. One of the guys? Plus, I've always had a thing for Clara. I'm sorry. I knew I was just hurting Ellie more. But I couldn't help but tell her my honest thoughts. Too bad, but it can't be helped. After all, you're just another one of the guys. How does it feel to have the boy you like stolen away from you right before your very eyes? Did you do this on purpose? I'll leave that to your imagination. M but when you asked to talk to Kik Xavier, I couldn't help but think that you were trying to foil my plans. You bitch. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh, nothing. Let's go, my love. My love? Yeah, we're dating now, after all. It's only natural I call you that, right? Um, yeah. I was so happy that Clara was holding on to like that. I didn't even notice how Ellie looked. We left to go on our date. I won't lose, not to her. The next day. <laughs> Ellie, what happened to you? Yeah, seriously? What's everyone in such a fuss about? Did Ellie do something stupid again? Huh? Is that Ellie? A bunch of girls huddled around one seat in the middle of the classroom. In the center was a beautiful girl that I had never seen before. That's what I thought. But that seat was Ellie. Morning, Xavier. What's wrong? Nothing. What's happened to you? What do you mean? You look completely different. Your hair and everything. I decided to try and look and act more like a girl. Does it look weird? No, it looks great. Really, it does. You look really... cute. Is it not weird for you to do this? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, I said that I saw you as just one of the guys and the next day you show up like this. You said that? How dare you? I thought you were a good guy. But I guess I was wrong. That's really mean. Hey, hey, leave him alone. Ellie? Obviously, I wasn't happy when he said that he thinks of me as just one of the guys. But also, I don't notice these things, so I need people to point them out for me. Xavier knows this, which is why he said that to me. Don't be so hard on him. Well, if you say so? Yeah, even if Xavier was insensitive, if you say it's fine... Her friends seemed to understand what Ellie was getting at. They seemed to trust her, so I got a pass. I supposed what I did say was a bit insensitive. Ellie, sorry for saying something so insensitive. Don't worry about it. If I doing this changes the way you see me, then I'm happy. Ellie, but I already... What are you two doing? The teacher will be here any minute. Oh, Clara, good morning. Morning, Xavier. Ellie. Morning. You changed your hair. It looks so cute. Thanks. It looks really cute. If you had changed it a day earlier, I may have lost Xavier to you. Clara, everyone's looking at us. So, we're going out, right? It doesn't matter if you're dating or not. You're obviously making Xavier uncomfortable. Can you lay off doing that kind of stuff just to show off? Oh, sorry. Am I making you jealous? <laughs> the teacher will be here any minute. You should go to your seat. <laughs> sure. Let's go, Xavier. Uh, let's go. Sorry, Ellie. So anyway, I was thinking after school day, we could... Clara talked about our plans for later that day with a cute smile on her face. She seemed to not care one bit about the daggers from everyone else looking at us. Ellie looked on sadly. Over one month later. Xavier, I have something to tell you. 